Hello everyone and welcome back to my normal wall. Um, it's Dave and I'm here for another unboxing. And today, we get to see what happens when the Super 7 Ultimates line enters professional wrestling. That's right, I am talking of course about the eighth wonder of the world, Andre the Giant. And um, this is one I've been waiting for for a while, and um, or really any of the uh, Super 7 wrestling figures that are um, coming soon or that were coming um, in general. You know, a lot of us expected the New Japan Pro Wrestling Series 1 figures to have arrived by now, um, but seeing Andre arrive at this point is definitely a pleasant surprise. Now, I have not taken the figure out of the protective cardboard box yet, so I'm coming into this just basically for the first time. Um, so, I'm excited. Um, all right, let's give this an open here. Now what's also cool is this is, like I was saying, this is our first glimpse into um, the future of the Super 7 wrestling line. There's another Andre the Giant that is available for pre-order now at Super 7. Um, and of course we've got New Japan Series 1 and Series 2 coming. Um, we have the Major Wrestling Figure Podcast figures coming soon. Um, and of course, you know, um, Doc Gallows and Carl Anderson coming soon. And this, this box is incredible. If you weren't going to take this out of the box, um, I can see why you wouldn't. This is, this is amazing. Here you can see the eighth wonder of the world, seven foot two, 520 pounds from, from Grenoble and the French Alps. Um, you know, the, the famed ring announcement that we, we've been used to over time and that we've heard over time. Um, and now this is a, I'm actually going to kind of pop this back so you can see it. This is a slip case here. Um, with of course some classic pictures of Andre on the side, the Ultimates logo on the top. Um, this is, this is a great box. I'm going to hang on to this box. Uh, this will not go into the recycling bin for sure. Um, taking this all in, this is incredible. Uh, this is a really great figure. You can see here the ring ropes. Um, I like that everything is styled like an old wrestling poster or like a, um, an event poster. I think that's really cool. And it has to, you may not be able to see it on here, but you, it has this like almost like marbled kind of old film look to the packaging, which I think is really great. Of course, here you can see the uh, the ring ropes on the back. Again, a little profile of Andre um, with height, weight, and where Andre is from. Now, what's really cool is if you are mint in, bo mint in box, we'll say mint in box for this one, not mint on card, because this is really more of a box. Um, you could leave it in the slip case. You could display it just like this. Um, it really is fantastic packaging. You never say anything about killing anyone. So, very cool little display box. Um, it does have a nice little background to it if you wanted to use that. Um, I'm going to take the, uh, the bubble off here. We'll talk about what's in there in a minute. But you got a nice little almost background if you wanted to cut this out because there are the creases on the side. Like if you wanted to display Andre behind with this behind him, um, that would absolutely work. So. Another really cool thing to hang on to. So, in a bag behind the bubble, we have the extra vest, as opposed to the one that Andre is wearing. So there are two vests. Figure also comes with two extra heads, um, six extra hands, or three extra pairs of hands, and um, of course, a really tiny beer can. All right, so let's get to uh, 
on twisty tying this. And I always do these the wrong way first. I'm bad at twisty ties. Uh, this might be borderline unwatchable, so I'll probably fast forward through this. Okay, so here we are. Um, this figure is awesome. <laughs> cool thing with this is really um i mean there's some different articulation it's not what you're used to in um i'll say an elite style let me just kind of zoom up here real quick yeah yeah all right so of course now we've got the awesome cloth goods vest which i'm going to remove so we can get a better look at the articulation and such. Um, now, I do want to show you this because there is a second one. There is a second vest. It is not cloth goods. It's plastic. Or rubber. So, just thing to keep in mind, you do have a second vest. It is not soft goods. All right, moving on. Now you do have, there isn't a lot of articulation here in the, the chest. There is no ab crunch, um, and there is no twist. But the arms, little bicep swivel here, single jointed elbows. Uh, the head turns really nicely. But yeah, as you can see, single jointed elbows single jointed knees and you have the ankles that kind of move up and down and they twist so that's really cool um as far as taking hands off <laughs> don't punch your light box when you take the hands off um, but you can see it's a little peg so it's what you're used to. Now it sits in a different type of wrist, I'll say. Whereas the wrist is normally flat, this one almost like cuffs. Um, so if I were going to put the hand back in, there is a little, it almost looks like a cuff. You can see here. Um, it's not really, it's, it's me trying to find a gripe, to be honest, because I do love this figure. I really do. Uh, a little twist, like I was saying, in the torso, but nothing, not a lot. So he's not going to really kind of move around on you. Um, as far as the head, we're going to take off the head. Um, it's your usual kind of ball joint for the head. Um, but you can see now, young Andre head. I'm actually going to go with the standard head. Um, the head that came on it already, because I actually like that one the best. Of course, we have a little beer can. I have it upside down, but there it is, the little beer can. Um, so there it is in his hand. Um, and I'll take some pictures, some stills of everything, just so you can see it a little bit better. Um, but that is the ultimate Andre the Giant. And I have to be at a weird angle, because he's almost too tall for the light box. Um... But I'll try to show you some scale. I'll try to fit a second figure in here um, for photo time. But uh, that's it for the close-up. So, Dave, back to you. And we're back. And um, as Andre is doing here with uh, this can of beer, here's to you, Super 7. This, uh, this figure is awesome. It's an absolute home run. Um, now, if you did not pre-order it originally, it is too late. Um, there was a pre-order, like we were saying before, it was kind of a one and done. Um, it was in that Super 7 Ultimate one month time window. Um, so the only way you can pick it up at this point is if um, a kind soul um, on the aftermarket is going to be able to sell one to you. Um, with that said though, um, plug for Super 7, um, there is another Andre the Giant that portrays his early career in Japan that's available for pre-order now um, on Super 7's website. It's another Ultimate. And um, if it's anything like this one, I expect it to be another awesome figure. Um, with that said, make sure to like, make sure to subscribe. 
Um, and if you do subscribe, hit the little alarm bell so that way you get a notification whenever we put a new video up. Um, also, feel free to comment. If you got Andre, um, let us know what you thought of it. Um, let us know if you like it. Let us know if you don't like it. Um, let us know if you lost the really tiny beer can. Um, but otherwise, that's it for me. Um, I've been Dave, and we'll see you next time. Actually, I'm always Dave, and I'll still see you next time.